Hi everybody and welcome back to episode 64 of our Valheim playthrough. So in the previous video we actually just got attacked while I was building up our new kitchen. And I had to run through and do a little bit of base repair. Wasn't too hectic, but it was still needed. We lost all our little piggies. Sad face. They're all gone. But yeah, it's to be expected. That's what happens during invasions. So I'm quickly just actually grabbing... Uh, all this, all our cooking supplies out of here, and we're moving it to our new kitchen. And then I want to plant some crops as well. And you can see these new chests are way bigger than the old ones. They can literally hold everything in one chest compared to how the other ones were. Which suits me just fine. I do need to make a few more of them, but I don't have enough fine wood. I'm sure if I go looking around on my chest, I will find fine wood, but right now I don't have enough fine wood. So that one's empty, that one's empty. We should have one full of food. There we go, there it is. So this is now all cooked food. Did I put thistles in there? No, I didn't. And dandelions and eyes. Eyes are for making frost potions. Once I've finished sorting this out, we'll quickly do a once over of our base just to see, make, make sure everything's all right. We will have a nap. Okay, that's all wood for the fire, which we do need to take. But we won't take as much as what they say we need. So we go here. Stock that up. This is primary here just so that I can throw stuff in there. So yeah, now you can see we've got all our cooking stuff put together instead of it being in different chests like it was. And I can see at a glance of what I have and what I don't have. I am trying to get rid of some of this other stuff. Uh, the less important ones, but I do need to make more carrot soup. I think this is actually the better stamina one. No, that's health. That's the better stamina one. Turnip stew. So yeah, we'll be working on that just now, but not right now. And I need to make some more arrows. So I do need to see if we got fine wood lying around the base. I do want to take us to the snow biome. Oh, and there comes another storm. Uh... I actually wanted to see now, now the storm here. See, now I can smash this down. Now I can just repurpose that. Okay, so with the storm, 
it's not affecting this at all which is good see I wanted to put a few more torches up okay there should be hopefully some fine wood in here oh we are so lucky fine wood resin and I think it needs bronze Yeah, a bit of bronze. Why did I want fine wood? Oh, yes. No. Why did I want fine wood? Guys, why did I want fine wood? I can't re remember why I wanted fine wood. I would have put this fine wood in here. Swap that out. And we need some charcoal. That one will do. I know I wanted fine wood. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, I'll grab bronze and a copper, so we can go get that fine wood anyway. Ish. Okay, we actually need to go do a copper run, apparently. Uh, yep, we need the fine wood. Now I've got an excuse to go and finally go minus some more copper. So this one's going to sit up here. They don't like to sit too high up. I think it's the, the roof mechanic it tends to put them out. So we just top them up with resin. Okay, yeah, that's all the copper we had. Now we go here. Boom. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Sorry guys, I'm doing a lot of back and forth running here, trying to decorate this thing. That's why I generally just decorate them off camera. So that goes like that. See so if I can put these two closer together, like so. Nice. I'm just trying to keep a bit of uniformity in all my buildings. Okay. And then we just do this. I want the one piece. I actually watched that the other day. It was pretty cool. It's better than I thought it would be. Like so. Yeah, because normally when they make like a, an animate to, to live action, it isn't so good, but I managed to actually watch it. It was quite, quite decent actually. I was quite impressed.
This is just a little, little bit of last minute decoration. Like you can actually do this nicely with core wood if you really want it to keep it all same. But I like to swap things out just a little bit. That one's not sitting right. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, there's the 26 degree. Oh. So that's our kitchen now built. Even though we had that bit of a distraction. Okay, let's just put the bulk of the stuff away. Because like I said, we're actually going to go on a grand adventure. Feel a little bit sad for my piggies that went pop. But it is what it is. Okay. Let's just put this bronze away. Okay, yeah, guys, we are now going to go on a sailing trip. Uh, let's restock on food. And repair our gear. And that resin that I put away, I said, oh, I don't need to go hunting resin, thank goodness. And there should be some feathers here. The reason why I'm crafting fire arrows, uh, we're heading into the snow. Spoiler. Okay, I need a little bit more resin. Yeah, this is a bit of a, a mess around to get ready here. I apologize. But even if we just get to that side, I'll be happy. There we go. Put the resin away, put the feathers away. Now, even if we just get to that side, then I will set us up a camp and we will move there. Not move, move, but we will, because we got to go to that one. We've been to that one. We found that there was one somewhere over there, but we want to head to that one. We've even got a little base camp set up on that corner already. So we're going to go up there, fetch that boat, and we're just going to sail across. Hopefully that boat is still alive. So I need a bit of stem. I'll take that one. We'll take that. Yeah, we we'll take a bit of extra food this time. Last time we went there, I ran out of food. <laughs> Go figure. Boy. Oh. Uh... Boy. Okay, let's go. All right, I need, I nearly forgot again. We need frost potions. 
and I did make them for this very reason. Okay, now we've got our frost potions, oh, carrying extra tools which I don't need to carry. <coughs> okay. Well, let's just remember to head up. So as long as we're heading up, we're heading the right way. I'm not going to even fight him. I'm just going to keep running. Yeah, seven regen. Right. We use the power of Ick three. No more distractions. We're going for it. For those that don't know, the reason I keep X3 on is for this massive running stamina story. Because those that have watched uh, our first early start videos were having good giggles at me, always running out of stamina and complaining that I'm running out of stamina. Where the, I've got a five minute buff that actually increases my stamina drain. As you can see, I'm just like running the whole way through. See, the, the boats are somewhere over there. We had one sitting here, but I remember that we saw one up top there, which I should have actually marked, but... Yeah, because the boat is actually now sitting here on our bridge. We're the bridge over there. But I want to get to that point as quick as possible. It all makes sense once I get, once I find our uh, second boat that I abandoned. No, I didn't lose too much skill points with that fighting. Let's see? I lost quite a bit of my wood chopping and my axe. But yeah, and my pickaxe, I lost quite a bit of. But it's okay. Okay, so now we're where... I suspect the boat will be sitting. It's a little bit further down the coast. And just so everyone remembers, there's actually a cave troll spawn here. And he always likes to wait for me. See, there he is. Told you, they always like to wait for me here. What is this? Oh, hit him in the chest. Uh, he likes fire arrows. Oh, he's right on my case. Okay, he reset. That's fine. Kind of want to just get you as quick as possible. 
So now the boat should be here somewhere. If it's still alive. Which the further I go down, the more I'm having doubts. Because I do remember seeing it getting wrecked on the rocks. Oh, there it is there. I see it. Okay, I need some more wood. Because we need to repair it. Oof, look how badly on, light, on the ground it is. Excuse me, this is my boat you're smashing. Oh, great. No one saw that, right? We'll be honest, I'm surprised the boat's still here. Barely, but it's still here. Okay, let's smash down this log so we can get the boat free. Push it out to sea. At least I'm able to push it. Okay. Just jumping. Boom. Yay. We rescued our moored boat. True Viking star. Don't know why I'm still wearing this mask helmet, but... Oh. I'm against the wind. Usual story. Okay. Turn the boat. Can't wait till we actually defeat the the snow boss where I can actually just use the wind in my advantage all the time. So we, we're heading to that point there. But yeah, the wind is directly, directly against us. What are those things floating in the sea there? Are there little puffer fishies that I can just pick up? Oh, I'll turn this too sharp. I'm totally not distracted, no. Okay, now they, whatever they were, they despawned. Or well, they fell into the water. Okay, let's keep going. And look at that. We, it's now storming. We're against the wind. Guess what's going to come next? Okay, so I want to attack this a bit. I want to get us into the wind. Because the last thing I really want to face off against right now in 
the storm. So we keep going out. We need to head that way. So, I am currently having many heart attack here. Because look how slow I've got to go against the wind. But let's do almost across. Let's eat some more food. Yep, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Land hole. Little to the right. We have a little camp already set up here. And there was no sea serpent. I am so happy. There's our camp just in front of us. Oh, problem. Okay, we're going to jump off here. The boat will come to a screeching stop. We're going to set our spawn point. Woohoo! Do I have a uh, stone? Okay, I don't need those jungle berries. Yeah, it's a stone that I'm short. Okay, so now we made it. Do that. You are wet. No, I can sleep. <laughs> In this little, like, one by two little house. Okay, guys, so we made it across the sea. We rescued ourselves, my boat. That almost didn't make it across the sea. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. But we are totally going to tackle the mountain. And we're only going to take the stuff that we need with us. So... Like that, okay? Okay, I shall see you guys in episode 65.